Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Hope you've had a good day. Um, it's my favorite time of year. Get to watch some NCAA basketball tournament time. It's always good to see the underdog upset the, the favorite. And I was thinking the, today, as I as I was, you know, considering coming home and watching some games, uh, who might knock off, you know, the favorite today? And uh, had some teams in mind, and uh, just got through watching Richmond, a team from Virginia, knock off Iowa. It's pretty cool. Uh, Twelve seed knocking off a five seed. Uh, and I started thinking about, you know, um, the kingdom of God. Sometimes the enemy uh, in the world will put us in a place where we feel like underdogs. You know, we we as Christians get, uh, you know, I don't know, get looked down on, get breathed down upon because of, uh, you know, uh, a perception that, that maybe we're narrow-minded or that we have a belief system that, you know, is, you know, is specific in particular according to the word of God and, uh, and I was reminded today that we're we're never underdogs in the in the kingdom of God in the church and uh, of Christ. You know, we are we are more than conquerors. And uh, so I started thinking today. You know, we're uh, we are a unique and a very blessed group of people. Uh, those of us who have trusted in Christ. And one of the passages that uh, the Lord has brought across my mind this week over and over is that uh, it's it's a passage out of Proverbs, Proverbs 27, 6, that says, um, wounds from a friend can be trusted, but an enemy multiplies kisses. That verse is uh, interesting, if you think about it. Uh, and I've experienced that, uh, wounds from a friend, you know, those things that, you know, those that love you, those that are closest to you, you know, those times that they have to speak a harsh word, and not a harsh word as in judgment or condemnation, but just just a little bit of truth. You know, if you go to a friend with a situation and and they're able to maybe cut you a little bit with the truth, you can trust that wound. That wound comes from a heart of care and a heart of love. But it says, the second part of that verse, it says that an enemy multiplies kisses. I'm going to say you need to be very, very careful about being with folks, only folks who tell you what you want to hear, um, folks who multiply kisses, because they may seem to be your friend, but you know, in all reality, um, confirmation on wrong beliefs and confirmation on wrong action, confirmation on wrong words spoken. Uh, when you seek out confirmation in those areas, you'll find it. And you'll also reap the consequences of, of wrong belief, wrong actions, and wrong words. And so uh, just follow the advice that we find in Proverbs 27, 6. And trust your friends. Trust those who are of the same faith, faith in Jesus Christ. Trust the truth and seek out the truth always. Uh, but be very careful in surrounding yourselves with only yes people, yes men, yes women those who will confirm you. And so my question to you today is, where do you go for confirmation? Who are your friends? Who are your friends? If you want to see the direction of your life, just look around. And those that you spend the most time with, that's where you're going. You're going where they're going. I want to say thank you to some of my friends, uh, Dave Hibbets, for helping always helping uh, and being willing to, to serve at Daniel Boone Baptist Church. The audio portion of Facebook Live should be really, really good this week. And uh, he had some help in that. Uh, Vaughn McConnell, Israel Crawford, and Brandon Webb helped us this week. And so the audio should be a whole lot better this week. And so I want to thank my friends from First Baptist Church in Gate City for helping us get our church audio where it needs to be. If you don't have a home church, come be with us Sunday at 11. If you can't be with us, check us out on Facebook at Daniel Boone Baptist Church. And about 11, 11, 15, come worship with us and uh, and pray that God gives us a, a good bit of truth on Sunday. And so uh, uh, happy St. Patrick's Day again. Hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Stay safe out there and see you soon.